good morning children today we will start chapter number 3 algorithm and flow chart you know in our day to day life whenever we have to solve any problem or to do any work we have to follow a step by step procedure so that we can get the best result for it in the same way a computer also solves its problems in a step by step manner to give us an accurate result an algorithm and a flow chart help us to create a computer program in a step by step manner so here in this chapter we are going to learn about algorithm and flow chart so first of all what is an algorithm an algorithm is a sequence of steps required to solve a problem it is a list of well defined instructions to solve a problem an algorithm has the following characteristics it ends after a fixed number of steps each step in an algorithm specifies basic operations these operations could include calculations input output operations and comparisons an algorithm accepts input data in a defined format before it can be processed an algorithm generates one more output after the input is processed the resultant information termed as output can be displayed or stored for future reference in computing a program is implemented by a computer to solve any problem and get the result so basically a computer program involves three steps which is algorithm flow chart and program algorithm full flow chart and program so here we have learned about an algorithm an algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve any particular task such as a mathematical or a logical problem so here are some examples make algorithm to input two numbers and print their sum so first is what start step 1 input two numbers number 1 and number 2 step 2 add number 1 and number 2 and assign the result in the variable sum equals to number 1 plus number 2 step 3 display the sum then stop okay so this is an algorithm to add two numbers okay now one more we have algorithm to find greatest between two numbers okay here we are doing the comparison see here algorithm first start then step 1 declare two number a and b step 2 input the value of a and b step 3 a greater b print a is greater than b else if it is not there then print b is greater than a then stop okay uh, we will be learning this in detail while we will do the practical okay now flow chart flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process that is algorithm okay it is called a flow chart as it charts the flow of a program okay the direction of flow in a flow chart is always from top to bottom okay now we are going to learn different symbols or the basic symbols that are used while making a flow chart so first is a terminal symbol the terminal symbol is used to represent start and stop of flow chart the symbol used for terminal is oval second is input or output box the symbol is used for input output is a parallelogram this symbol is a parallelogram where the two opposite sides are equal 
Now third is processing box. It is a rectangle shaped box that is used to show the processing part of the flowchart like calculation. It is rectangular in shape. Decision box. It is a rhombus shaped box that is used to check the conditions, display comparisons and take the decisions of the problem. You can say that it is a rhombus shape or a diamond shape. Okay. Next is flow lines. These are the arrow lines used to connect the different shapes and show the flow of logic in a flow chart. Okay. Next is connector. It is a circle shaped symbol that is used to join the parts of a flow chart. Okay. The symbol used for connector is a circle with an arrow. Okay. Now there are some examples of flowchart. Make flowchart to input two numbers and print their sum. First same algorithm start. Step 1 input two numbers number 1 and number 2. Step 2 add number 1 and number 2 and assign the result in the variable sum equals to number 1 plus number 2. Display sum and stop. Okay, this is this is the simple example of a flowchart. Okay. See here, start, declare a, b, sum, sum equals to a plus b, print sum, stop. Okay, these are some of the examples of flowchart. Okay, these are some of the examples of flowchart. Okay, so here we have learned about algorithm and flowchart. Okay, we will be doing the practicals of this chapter okay at that time we will be clarifying some of the basic doubts okay so here the chapter is over thank you